The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that Jack Nicholas soon would be there. Twas the night before Christmas and all through the land. Not a creature was stirring, not even Jay Monahan. He'd weathered his first year as the tour commish and was dreaming of new deals with TV execs. The tour twas healthy and growing, there's no denying, especially with young stars like Tony Zander and Bryson. Brooks Kepka was snuggled all safe in his bed with a second U.S. Open trophy and a Wanamaker to boot. He'd had a great year, reached number one in the land, plus added much loot. Justin Rose won the FedEx Cup and was consistent all year. He's the only man alive with both silver as well as Olympic gold in his gear. Aria Jutanagarn from Thailand is a wonder and many courses she did tame. She won the million dollar bonus plus the U.S. Women's Open she did claim. Michelle and Lexi were left wanting and wailing, vowing to do more winning in 2019. The Italian Molinari was drinking champagne from the Claret Jug. A win in America plus a perfect record at the Ryder Cup had made him quite smug. The smartest man in golf, Thomas Bjorn, was smirking. He'd gotten the last laugh after the Americans finished twerking. Everyone had criticized his choices and gave him no chance, but against all odds, the Euros defeated Furyk's troops in France. The boys from America are pointing fingers and bailing. It was all the captain's fault they were heard wailing. The guy in the red shirt was tucked in and fast asleep. He'd worked hard, it seemed, to get back to competing. He vowed to go low this year and was true to his word. He scared the young guys at Carnoustie and Belle Reeve before taking home a trophy at the end of the season. The future looks bright for El Tigre at 43. Now he's dreaming of more majors next year, you'll see. Bundled all safe in their beds, little Jordan, Rory, JT, and Ricky were tossing and turning. Their scores were not low enough to win the big prizes. Of more victories next year, they're already yearning. Little Phil played poorly all year and didn't want to be left out. So he conjured a match which would be lauded about. He cajoled execs to pony up nine million and with his buddy Tiger dits put on a show. Their play was lackluster and needed some help but the gamblers didn't mind and wagered millions of dough. Lo, as I sat in the glow from my big TV screen, out on the lawn I heard a great clatter. Twas old St. Jack Nicholas himself exclaiming, Merry Christmas to all and to all don't forget, Tiger still needs four more to tie me just yet. Merry Christmas, everyone. We hope you have a great golf year next year.